All right, so I'll wait for people to pop in. We are going to be uh, shopping my witchy closet. So I have tons of beautiful items behind me that are up for grabs, they're up for sale. So I'll be doing um, PayPal invoices. So if anybody is interested in purchasing these things, all you have to do is um, email me what it was and I'll send you an invoice, but um, I'll just have people let me know that, you know, they want those things so that I can say that they are sold. All right, so I see V, Solitary Witch, hello, hello, and Zana Babe, hello. <laughs> so, okay, I think you guys need to see some of these awesome things. Um, I have them all done, um, laid out in front of my altar. Just give it that extra, you know, goodness. Um, Shadow Moon Witch is here. Hello, Amanda the Medium. How are you? All right, so let me turn this camera around so you guys can see all the goodies. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, there we go. All right, <laughs> you guys are loving the purple. Um, I'm doing well, Shadow Moon Witch. Hello, hello to everyone. So, okay, um, let's first show my email address. So uh, once you find something that you like, let me know. Um, I'll set it aside for you. And uh, this is the email address, Tara at kittensweightsandtarot.com. Uh, you would just email me, say, hey, I'm the one that bought whatever it was. And I'll send you a PayPal invoice. Um, and then once the invoice is paid, I will send it out ASAP. Okay, so there's the email. Let's go ahead and take a look at these items. So like I said, everything's in front of my altar right now. <laughs> okay, um, and Jasmine, hello. Okay, so we have um, an Indian ceremonial rattle. So this is one of our Native American rattles here, um, which is, um, well, it's antique. So. <laughs> um, so we have that. I have one of my incense burners. It's been used, so, you know, it's been well loved. <laughs> Um, we have lots of different art and things like that from uh, the witches moon boxes, bounty boxes, roots boxes, and then I also have some decks. I'll go through one by one, um, but I just want to give you guys an overview. Um, so here are a couple of the tarot decks, one of my oracle decks. I have a couple of buffalo um, pendants that haven't been listed in Desert Cauldron yet. Um, so there are two that are listed in Desert Cauldron, but these two have not. And um, I've added turquoise to them, actual real turquoise. The cat's meow, how are you? Um, I have a solid brass antique mortar and pestle from the early 1900s. So that's gonna be fun for somebody. Um, and then I have the book, The Alchemist, which I loved and it's been gently used. In fact, it looks brand new. So you don't even know that I've read it. <laughs> Um, a couple other decks here that you guys might be interested in. This one's unique. Like I said, I'm going to go through one by one uh, with you guys. Um, oh, V is saying hello to James. <laughs> um, and so this is uh, from the early 1900s as well, but it's an adjustable candle holder. So as the candle burns, you can like pull it up. It's, it's really cool. Um, I have my char white bracelet that I've made. This is my moon soon water, which is not listed on Desert Cauldron yet. But I figured um, I'd do some Desert Cauldron deals here with stuff that is not in our shop. So you can get a deal before we do list it in our shop. I've made a spell bottle. I've only made one thus far. So you'd be like the new owner of this new spell bottle. Um, we have, oops, sorry. Um, really awesome, rutilated natural citrine with a time link window, rainbows, and starberry markings. So anybody that's interested in crystals, and we have more crystals if you guys are interested. Um, but I have some of my witchy shoes. I keep them in good condition. So if anybody's a size eight, <laughs> um, you might be interested in those. Um, and I have some more artwork here. And you guys can see my, my little toesies because <laughs> it's warm. Okay, so I'm going to go from left to right and go over everything and uh, yeah, let's see see if you, what you guys are interested in. So, okay, sorry, I'm moving my little tripod so if there's noises, uh, pardon me. Okay, so the large pieces of artwork that you see here, 
the kind of eight and a half by 11. Uh, those ones come from the Witch's Moon, Witch's Bounty, and the Witch's Roots boxes. Actually, the big ones I think are just the Witch's Moon boxes. Um, but I have those for $9 shipped. Everything you see is including, like the shipping is included in it. So you're not paying any extra for shipping. It's just, that's the whole price. <laughs> so this is $9, each of these. Let's actually take a look. So there we go. I'm gonna put my um, tripod down just a little bit, so excuse the noise. So we can get down a little bit closer. Ooh, 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 ooh. And closer we go. Hello to everybody that's come back in. Paperback Palacios, Trisha Zilla, hello, hello. Okay. Okay. Kid Ducky. All right. So this one is a beautiful dragons piece of artwork. Lots of information on dragons, how to work with dragons, and kind of the different cultural um, different cultural aspects of dragons. Um, over here, uh, we have the Benton. Again, also very beautiful colorful um, but these have a lot of um, astrological associations celestial associations information so these are really good for people's um, book of shadows um, or you could put these in a picture frame put them on your altar put them on your walls um, these are really good for that lovely light readings hello hello over here we have the honeymoon Again, lots of great information. So remember that these large pieces of artwork are $9. And so that if you are interested in anything, just let me know which one. I'll set it aside and put your name on it. And then um, you would just email me, Tara at kittensweightsandtarot.com. I'll go back and get my paper in a moment so that you can see what that looks like. And then I would send you a PayPal invoice. Um, here we have Unicorn. I love this one so much, but I I need to make room for things. So I love all of these things, but you know, I need to make room. Otherwise, there's going to be no room for me. <laughs> and then moving on. Oh my gosh, this is such a gorgeous one. This is the power of Gaia. Oh my goodness. Uh, Zanabib, uh, we can the we would have to adjust the pricing uh, to ship outside the United States because right now it's just um, the pricing that is included is for um, within the United States. But we can do Australia. We would just have to check on the shipping. The Scorpling Shop. Hello. Um, over here we have Weave. Again, another piece of beautiful artwork. You are very welcome. And our last eight and a half by 11 piece of artwork, Santa Muerte Spectrum, hello. We have the Spirits of Fate. Again, beautiful information. And beautiful art. Okay, I'm gonna go up top to the things that were above these beautiful pieces of artwork and we have some shoes. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down so you guys can check out some of the shoes. So like I said, <laughs> um, I am, this is easier guys. Oh yes, of course. Um, so they're great for insert, uh, inserting into your book of shadows and like I said you can put them on your wall, on your altar, of course. Um, thank you, somewhat, Santa Muerte Spectrum. Thank you so much. Um, so if you guys are a size 8, <laughs> um, I have these size 8. These are faux leather. So these are vegan leather boots. If you are interested, like I said, I like to keep my shoes in good condition. So you get the boots with the fringe. Um, lightly 
lightly worn, as you can see. I didn't wear these too much just because they were so pretty. I was afraid of destroying them outside. So nice and soft on the inside. And all of the big boots here, these three boots, actually, let me move it back here. Um, these three boots that you see here, these would be $43 shipped uh, because they would be put into a large box and therefore it increased the shipping. So that's why it is $43. So uh, again, you don't have to add in any extra. So it would just be 43, not plus shipping. The shipping is already inside these prices. So like with the art, it being $9, the price for shipping is inside that nine dollars so you don't have to pay any extra okay so again we have some nice fringe boots and then we go on to my cowgirl boots <laughs> my western boots and they have some beautiful embroidery and studding i guess uh, again this is um, vegan leather and some beautiful embroidery up top. And these are also a size eight. There's a little, little teeny bit of wear here that you guys can see, just a little bit. And just a little bit of wear on the bottom, but basically still brand new shoes. Even the heel hasn't really been worn down at all that much. I just feel like extra witchy in my uh, clod hoppers, as I call them, when I can clickety clack everywhere. <laughs> um, so still very nice on the inside. Like I said, um, these are size eights. So if anybody out there is a size eight. Okay, my super witchy boots. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. These are really hard to get rid of you guys. I hope you know. <laughs> um, okay. So I originally wore these uh, anytime I was dressing up for Dia de los Muertos or uh, during Halloween and I would dress like um, basically uh, Senorita de los Muertos <laughs> and I would have these on. So I've only worn them maybe a handful of times um, just because they're white. I'm always afraid of getting white dirty, but white is so pretty. Like when it comes to shoes, it's like, but it's pretty. <laughs> Um, so it has lots of beautiful buckles here. You don't have to, when you put them on, it's a zip up the back. So you don't have to fiddle with actually all these buckles and these laces. I mean, I guess you could the first time just to adjust it to your foot. Um, but it's just a zip in, zip in and zip out. Um, so you can see the information there. Again, these are size eights and these are vegan leather. There's the company symbol on the inside. So go ahead and zip these back up. And I love the points on these. These are just oh, amaze balls. Okay, so again, these are these boots are $43 each. I put them in a large shipping box. Shipping is included in the price. So um, you don't have to pay any extra for shipping. Okay, moving on. Like I said, I got lots of goodies here for you guys. Sorry, so I don't trip over my own trash can <laughs> or my tripod. Okay, um, so these are my UGG shoes. Um, and these ones are suede, like actual suede. Um, this actual wood here, so they are like some OG clogs. You can see they've barely been worn. The heel is still intact. And on the inside, they're actually nice and fuzzy for your witches that are out there and maybe some cooler weather and you would like to keep your little tootsies nice and toasty warm. So this is by Ugg and these are $33. Again, these are smaller. They go in a medium sized box. So the, chip, uh, the shipping was a lot cheaper. Um, so that's why it comes to 33. So that's where the shipping is included. Okay. And then these next ones here, 
these are really fun to just kind of like wear around the house, wear outside, quickly throw them on their fabric. They got a little anchor put on them. So super cute, nice and soft. Um, I have a lot of shoes. If I didn't, I would keep these because <laughs> I literally, I love these shoes so much. Um, but these would be able to fit into a small size box. So I have these for $16 if anybody is interested. And again, the email address, once you let me know which item you want um, during this live, I will place that item aside with your name on it. Um, and then uh, I would have you email me, Tara at kittensweightsandtarot.com. Um, and I'll send you a PayPal invoice and then I would get that package out to you ASAP with a little bit of extra love, you know, of course, put into it. Tiny Trinkets and Tarot, hello, how are you? Okay, so I'm gonna put that right there. All right, and now for some crystally goodies. Yes, yes, let us move on. Okay, we're now on to this section right here. All right, uh, let's see. Let me move into a way that you guys can, I can fit and then you guys can see some stuff. So again, this is a rutilated natural citrine. It has a time link window on it, tons of rainbows and starberry markings. And this is for 250 shipped, 250. Um, so there's our little tag right there. But this is none of that heat treated stuff. This is natural out of Mama Gaia herself. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> feeling the sunny vibes. So this would be perfect on your altar. Anytime um, you wanna invoke the uh, sun's energy, some of that masculine energy, you wanna bring in maybe some abundance um, or you're looking to clear things out, kind of like the sun clears away, um, you know, especially when it's directly overhead, it's casting out those shadows and things like that. Um, again, metaphorically, really good for meditation, for certain spell work, whatever it is that you guys are doing, citrine is going to be perfect for that. Um, whenever I'm doing any of my abundance spells, uh, money spells, or um, I'm looking to illuminate certain things in my life or I want to get a good look at things. I would place uh, citrine under my pillow. This one might be kind of big for under the pillow, but this might be really good for the altar uh, as I put things on the altar as well. And I do switch out my, my crystals depending on the month, the season, what I'm working on. But beautiful, okay? So I'm gonna place this baby down. <laughs> Lots of lovely hearts and new people joining us, so fabulous. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda go back here. All right. So as you guys know, I take very good care of my decks. I'm not a uh, riffle shuffler, nothing against the riffle shufflers, but I just like to keep things like unbent. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a side shuffler, but this is the Dark Goddess Tarot. Um, I'm selling it for 28 shipped, so meaning that the shipping is included within this price. Um, and since I'm just going through PayPal and whatnot, um, I don't get that much of a deal really from the USPS to get my shipping labels, but it comes with a really nice guidebook. And inside here is the deck. So let's pull this deck out. There we go. Has beautiful gilded edges. Beautiful backings. And just wonderful, wonderfully colorful images. Let me sit down so I can um, get nice and close for you guys. So those of you that work with various goddesses, this would be really good. Like you can place one of the goddesses on your altar. You can read with it as a tarot deck. You could read with it as an oracle deck if you wish. Great for a card of the day, but also 
in a full-on spread would be nice. And paired with uh, oracle cards. I think specifically affirmation cards, I think work really well with this deck if you guys wanted to do something like that. And also, if you guys are doing spell work, like let's say you're working with the Norns, um, you might want to place this card underneath some of your spell workings or place it just on the altar with some of your offerings and things like that. Um, just different ways that you could utilize this deck. And it does have a gloss to it, as you can see, but it's just a protectant. Eshel, P.S. That is my goddess. That is my main goddess. Ugh. Eshel. And hello to all the people that have joined. Hello, hello. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these down. And let's see what else we have here. What other witchy goodies? Okay. Those of you that work with the Nordic tradition, you might uh, be interested in the Yggdrasil, Norse divination cards. Uh, I have these for $26 ships, so the shipping is included within the price. Uh, everything is in perfect condition. Everything is gently used because I take very good care of my decks. Um, we have the guidebook here. Let's go ahead and take out our cards. And these are the backs. Oh, Katie Flowers, hello! and has beautiful black and white sketching. Just gorgeous. And the guidebook, uh, I would say, is integral to working with this deck as it is divided up into different groupings and uh, meanings and things like that. Um, but, you know, if let's say if you're not quite familiar with uh, the mythology, the mythos um, associated to the Norse, um, this would be really good. Ha 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 ha! Beautiful. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Um. Okay, so I have some things back here. This one I'm having a hard time letting go of, but I know. <laughs> I originally bought it for, you know, Desert Cauldron, um, so this is uh, for our shop. It's just not listed in our shop yet. Um, so we have this for $55 um, shipped, so the shipping is included in this price. But this is antique. It's from the early 1900s, uh, just before 1920. Uh, of course, I'll throw in the candle. <laughs> um, and what's up, Annette? Um, but as you can see, and I'm going to push this candle out, you can adjust it just like this. So it's a nice adjustable candle. So as it burns, you can adjust your pillar candle, which I think is pretty freaking sweet. Um, what would be nice is like, let's say you're doing a particular spell or working with the moon. Um, <laughs> hey, hey, uh, you can place various herbs, crystals here. Um, I love that it's in a dish form so that you could place those things there. You can even place some of your intentions here. Like let's say you burn something in your candle, you're burning one of your intentions or you're releasing something. You can place the ashes around here. Um, so this is made of steel, very nice steel. Has a nice little finger holder here. And here is the bottom. But yeah, I would, I say, this is one of my faves, but this is not listed in Desert Cauldron yet. So the things that I have here that are for Desert Cauldron, they're not listed in the shop yet. So you're getting a better deal here uh, just before we decide to throw them on the old Etsy. Um, so again, this is an adjustable candle holder. So wonderful putting, putting little, little goodies in there. Okay, so there's that. And then... I have in here 
Charolite bracelet. I only have two, so one of them is mine, <laughs> and the other one I am selling. So this one is also for Desert Cauldron. And this is for 200 shipped. And the reason being, you might be saying, well, why is that bracelet so expensive? Well, that's because look at the size of these beads of Charoite. So Charoite only comes from one place in the world, and that is the Charo River in Russia. Um, and because it is a rarity, them coming out of Russia, whether they're polished like this or coming in rough forms, it's expensive. <laughs> um, just because that there's, it's only available in one place. Um, so I was able to get a hold of enough beads to make two bracelets, one for myself, and then I, you know, I'm selling one. So this is handmade by me. Um, and I put a lot of intention in it um, to aid the wearer and however they wish to use it. Um, so you can, um, well, I'll do a little bit of Palo Santo on it before I mail it out to you. Uh, but this is really good for psychic ability, um, crown chakra, awareness, connecting to your higher self, connecting to the divine. Um, so if you really want your little psychic antennae, like a buzzing and going crazy, as mine usually is, <laughs> then this would be really, really good for you. Especially those of you that do a lot of energy work, um, are healers, uh, tarot readers, um, really good for use when you are at your altar doing altar work. I like to pair mine with a grounding stone such as agate like I have here just because otherwise I'll be flying off into the ethers you guys with just this bracelet on so I have to make sure that I also always have a grounding bracelet or um, other piece of grounding jewelry. Um, so just FYI whenever you guys are working with charoite or wearing charoite jewelry just make sure that you also pair it with something that is grounding because this is this is gonna this is gonna make you buzz <laughs> okay so i'm gonna put it back in its little protecto baggy okay and let's put that back here okay all right so now you guys we have some more beautiful artwork claudia hello hello and a little bit mystical how are you Hello. Okay, so I have some small pieces of artwork here. These came from the Witch's Bounty boxes and the Witch's Roots boxes. And these are $7 shipped. Um, so these were made exclusively for their boxes. So you really can't find them anywhere else, not even in their own shop. Um, but they are perfect for your book of shadows. They're perfect for placing upon your altar. They're great for putting into picture frames, placing on your wall, um, dedications, things like that. Edgar, what's up my friend? Um, and then we have one here for smoky quartz. So lots of information, but it's also beautifully, beautifully illustrated, decorated, but lots of useful information. Okay, so again, shipping is included in all of these prices, so no need to calculate any extra shipping. This is about hematite. Aw, thank you. Much love right back to you, Edgar. Um, let's see, we have the lunar light. So lunar light. This one, like I said, a lot of these, they're very hard for me to give up just because I love them all still. <laughs> but, um, you know, I do, I do need to make room. So, okay. So here's some more of our little art here. I have black obsidian. So hello to everybody who's coming in. Sorry if I'm missing um, some of you guys as you guys pop through black obsidian by the way one of my faves to work with those of you um, that 
well, have seen our shop Desert Cauldron or, you know, anytime I'm doing like altar work or some spell work, you guys know I'm using black obsidian. It is beautiful for scrying. It's perfect for um, like transmuting energy. It's uh, great for blocking out negative energy. It's great for reflecting back at you things that are hard to see uh, about yourself. It is a perfect mirror. It is just, can't say enough about black obsidian. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have so much of it in our shop. Okay, and then one more piece for this side, uh, and then I'll start moving backwards here for you guys. Uh, hello, Becca's by the Bay. Um, this is called Quartz of Lemuria. Oh, so etheric and beautiful, and lots of wonderful information. So again, these small pieces, these five by sevens, are seven dollars shipped. And I will get these out to you ASAP. Um, just let me know which one is yours. I'll put your name on it. I'll set it aside. Um, and then don't forget to email Tara at kittensweightsandtarot.com and I'll send you a PayPal invoice. Okay, so I'll put that there for now. All right, so moving to the back, I have another deck here, $15 shipped. This is the Angel's Tarot. So this one's got a lot of gilding, even on the uh, tuck box here. And everything is in great condition. Like I said, I take very good care of my decks. Um, so you have the little, whoops, the guidebook here. And the beautiful backings. And then all the beautiful artwork here. And this has a matte finish, so I think it's fancy schmancy for shuffling. You can see it's got a lot of gold foil on it. The borders are in blue gold or blue gold foil, blue foil. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and you know, um, anything that is purchased here from my little witchy closet today. Um, I'll make sure to throw in some extra goodies into your box, you know, because I do that for anybody who buys anything from like Kittens, Weights, and Tarot or Desert Cauldron. You know, I always throw in a little something, something. So I would make sure to throw in a little something, something uh, into your box. And um, if you're buying multiple things, um, then we would adjust the prices because all the prices right now have um, the shipping included. So obviously if you're buying multiples, we could save on that shipping and we would save on your prices so you'd be getting a better deal so just fyi if you're looking at a few different things um i would adjust the pricing so that um you can get a better deal because we put everything all in one box then um edgar said this deck is actually very nice gorgeous i think so too i was like ooh. <laughs> okay let's move this camera back here a little bit and let's let's get into my witchy goodness here all right so uh, during the full moon in Aquarius which happened on July 23rd we had a monsoon and this is kind of what's left of that water um, that I'm keeping um, but I placed a lot of that moon soon water into these bottles here and these bottles are antique so these are over a hundred years old. <laughs> and I figured water as, speci as, as special as monsoon water, you know, with the power of the monsoons and the lightning and the thunder, it was all happening under that buck moon, that full moon that, um, you know, a special bottle was needed for that. So um, there's little bits of impurities and debris that is in this water because it was a monsoon, stuff was flying everywhere. <laughs> So you may not want to drink the water. It's probably not going to kill you, but um, it's really good for, you know, if you're sprinkling some of this uh, moon water around your home, um, putting it into certain things, into spells, it's going to give it a kick in the pants, let me tell you. Um, so I've created my own little natural corks with hemp in here, and then I've sealed them in wax, so you can definitely take the seal off if you're wanting to actually take the water out. I have the little tags of information on these. So this large bottle is um, $25, so that's uh, shipped. So it's $15 plus it's like $10 shipping, so it's $25 shipped. 
if you're interested in this large bottle. We have a couple of medium-sized Moonsoon water bottles from the state of Arizona. <laughs> and these ones are 13 uh, plus a $5 shipping, so that's $18 shipped. And again, they have the little tags on there. Oh, Edgar loves the bottles. <laughs> And I have some natural corks that I've made in there um, with, you know, recycled materials just because I'm trying to be as planet friendly as possible. You know, I, I care about Mama Gaia. I want to make sure that uh, we take good care of her because um, I'm a little green witch, you know. I'm <laughs> uh, so again, it has its little tag and some beautiful um, like copper wax. This is another one of those. $18 bottles, so it's like $18 shipped. And again, these bottles are over a hundred years old, so these are antique bottles. We'll make sure that we wrap these really nice so they um, are protected during transit. Um, and if you don't know, with the things that I ship, I also um, add a little bit of spell work to the packages so that they always make it to their destinations unharmed. Okay, we have some small bottles here. These are $10 plus $5 shipping, so it's $15 shipped. Um, Claudia says, that looks like an old cologne bottle. Love glass bottles. Me too. <laughs> I'm like, I can't get enough. Every time I see um, some like antique bottles, I'm like, oh, I got to have some. Um, so this one, again, I have the little tags on here. It says, full moon in Aquarius, um, Arizona. Monsoon, Moonsoon water from July 23rd, uh, 2021, so that you know the date of this water. And just like tons of mega energy and those lightning bolts that were right overhead, like the, whew, whew, you know, electric energy that's in these is crazy. Okay, we have another small bottle here. It's another $15 bottle. This is in blue glass and another hundred plus year old bottle and this little tiny one. And again, I have the little hemp cork that I made in there. Um, a little bit mystical says, how could you use moon water? That is a great question. So um, usually what I like to do, and like I said, this is my leftover that I use for myself. Um, you can, well, I like to sprinkle it on my hands. Um, before I'm getting ready for my spell work. Um, if I have particular herbs or crystals that I'm using and I wanna give them like mega energy, <laughs> um, then I'm gonna put a little, a little bit of moon water on them. Um, if I were to use filtered water, then I would drink the water because I know that you know I'm not <laughs> drinking bugs and stuff like that. So um, I could place it in drinks, I can place it in food, uh, things like that. I sprinkle it around my home and depending on uh, the phase of the moon, like if it was a full moon um, like this is, uh, it's really good at things being at their peak potential, but also I could use it for releasing. Um, if I was doing this for a new moon type water, it'd be really good for bringing things in. Uh, so oftentimes with full moon water, I like to clear out everything from my space or, you know, blockages that I have to allow in uh, what it is that I want. So that's, that's uh, just like some of the ways I guess, you know, I can use my moon water, sprinkle it on my doorstep right in front of my door, putting it on door handles, also really good. Uh, Susie Gemini, what's up? <laughs> Focus and flow, uh, flow tarot, hello. Edgar says, after using the water, uh, I'd use the bottle for wishes. Yes, you can do that as well. So yeah, so again, you know, just some ideas uh, for the moon water. Um, and then over here, I'm gonna make more of these, but I haven't listed this yet in Desert Cauldron, but like I said, I'll make, I'll make a little bit more. Uh, you're welcome, no problem. Um, this is my love spell jar. So I have some particular herbs in here that um, are meant to attract love, both within yourself, self-love, um, but also uh, looking to attract a love interest. Or um, if you are trying to, you know, um, <clears throat> clear your energy um, so that you can bring in um, more love with your own family and your friends, uh, this is really good for that. All you have to do is just place it on your altar. You could take the contents out if you wish, um, but in here, let's see if you guys can see it, um, but kind of curved along in here, if you can see that. 
I have a dove's feather. So we have a lot of doves, we have a lot of birds where I live and I collect their feathers. And so I have a little dove feather in here. Uh, one of the um, birds symbolizing peace, purity, and love. Um, they're also known for mating for life. Uh, so again, really good for relationships and love of all kinds. Um, and I have it sealed in red wax. Again, for color magic, because it's associated with love, with the heart, and also the root chakra, because we have to be stabilized within our root chakra in order to open up the heart chakra. So this is uh, $26 shipped, if you guys are interested. Okay. And do, 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 do. Let's move along here. All right. Okay, okay, making our way through. Like I said, whew, lots of good stuff here. Um, <laughs> Edgar's like, now I'm looking at my dove with ideas. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, we have some symbols that were created um, by the good people over at the Witch's Moon. So for their Witch's Bounty Box and the Witch's Roots Box, uh, they created certain symbols that you could place upon your altar in order to bring in a certain type of energy. So if you wanted, you can place, excuse me, like your moon water, you can place on there. You can place a spell jar on there. You can place your herbs on there. You can place a person's picture on there. Um, but this is to call upon the energy of a dragon guardian. So anything that you are wanting to protect, uh, this would be really good for. Okay, so again, all of these seven dollars, these little five by sevens here, and again, this is the email address if you guys are interested, and I will send you a PayPal invoice. Tara at kittensweightsandtarot.com. Kittensweightsandtarot is the same as my Instagram handle, which is at kittensweightsandtarot. That's the one that you're at right now. <laughs> um, okay, we have some information on blue opal, blue Andean opal which I absolutely adore. And this is just, oh, the artwork is stunning, you guys. Like I said, this is so hard for me to sell this stuff because I love it. Um, but you know, gotta make room, gotta make room. Okay, another piece of artwork we have here is the Fairy Elven Star. And again, you can place this in your book of shadows. You can place this on your altar. You can frame it, put it on a wall, make a little dedication space if you wish. This is really good for that. Oh yeah, the opal does look wise, Edgar. I mean, dude. <laughs> so yeah, all of these again are $7 shipped for these um, beautiful pieces of artwork. We have another piece right here. And this is for rose quartz. In fact, I have a little rose quartz ring on today. So lots of great information there. And I've kept in everything in perfect condition for you guys. Okay, let's see. Over here, we have the book, The Alchemist. And you can see I do not crease my books. I take very good care of them. So this is The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho and I have this for $12 shipped. So the shipping is included in this price. It is a wonderful book and just like super spiritual, so many wonderful ideas and ways of thinking about the world. And even though it's set in um, like a fictional setting, um, it's pretty true to like things of today, you know, even though it's like supposed to be of the past and all of that, it's. It's really good, um, and I know a lot of you have read this book, but this is the 21st, uh, 25th anniversary edition of this book. Um, so if you guys are interested in The Alchemist, and it actually um, it has a little bit of embossing on the title, which just makes it, you know, extra schmancy. <laughs> Edgar's like, I'm a crease, I'm awful. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Um, we have another deck for you guys. So this one is in French. But uh, hey, we have Google Translate, so no worries on that. <laughs> um, oh, Coach Aragon, <laughs> how are you? So um, this is $22 shipped. Um, so again, shipping is within the price, but this is um, messages from ancient Egypt. Messages and guidance, sorry, from ancient Egypt. 
take a look inside. It's got a beautiful box and beautiful gilded edging, wonderful backings. And that's the card for the creator. And then it has these beautiful pieces of artwork. It's meant to look like papyrus in the background. Uh, so you get like a little, um, little keyword or key phrase, and then there's a little bit more information. And like I said, if you don't speak French, we have Google Translate, no worries. Um, the messages are absolutely just out of this world. They're soft. For me, they've been soft. They're gentle. Like definitely what I need to know. I've only used these for cards of the day and I, I just felt that they worked so well. So if you have a connection to ancient Egypt or you just like the look of these cards, this would be perfect for you. Elizabeth Magical Unicorn, hello, hello. <laughs> There we go. So uh, again, those were the um, messages and guidance from ancient Egypt. So let me know if it's yours. I will set it aside and put your name on it. Okay, guys, are you ready? Like whoo, center yourselves like, <laughs> okay, I have an antique mortar and pestle from the early 1900s. So it's between 1900 and 1920. This is solid brass. Let me tell you that I am using my muscles right now to hold this up for you guys. Um, my muscles might start shaking in a little bit because this is really heavy. <laughs> like this is really heavy. Okay, so inside you can see it has been used. So this is good for like crushing uh, little powders, herbs. I wouldn't really use this for resins or anything um, super hard, like even um, rose hips. Sometimes when we're crushing rose hips, um, that might be a little much for this. You might want something with a little bit more grit and this is really smooth in here. So like I said, it would be really good for mixing up herbs and powders. Um, like if you were to do like benzoin or something like that, like a powdered resin, but not the actual resins themselves. Um, Claudia's like, whoa. <laughs> Edgar was like, I was staring at that mortar. <laughs> So yeah, this is really old, you guys, like really old. This is over a hundred years old. Used by alchemists of the past, you guys. And let's take a look at this pestle. So you can see that was the end uh, that was used to crush up the various powders and um, concoctions that they were making. It is kind of big, but uh, Hey, you could also use it kind of like a, a singing bowl, I guess, like <laughs> clear the energy before you start mixing stuff up in there. Um, but yeah, just a little, little grindy grind. Just how cool is that? So um, this one, let me grab the little tag for it. Uh, this one is uh, 220 shipped. So the shipping is included in this price, um, but this thing weighs, let's see, let's see if I can gauge the weight just by guessing. I'd say this was like 15 pounds or more. <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah, about 15 to 20 pounds. <laughs> um, so that's why, <laughs> that's why the price, but also it's an antique, you guys. So um, Edgar says, if push comes to shove, throw the pestle at a demon. Exactly. So. <laughs> If what I'm making in here doesn't uh, exercise the demon, well, I'm just going to have to bat him in the head with the with the pestle. <laughs> Claudia's like more like a gong. Yeah, I know, right? Just gong. <laughs> so this, I love this so much. So I'm like, you know, if this um, doesn't sell, I'm just going to like keep this for myself. <laughs> I know I have like three mortar and pestles already. I don't need a fourth. Ah, okay. Um, let's, let's, let's move over here. Do, 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 do. Okay. So we have some more, uh, of the little pieces of artwork to take a look at. We have an angel light piece of artwork. Edgar's like that sound sends such vibes. Well, you know what? I'll make sure that I, I, uh, I hit the mortar and pestle gong slash, um, 
singing bowl over there for you guys <laughs> help clear the energy um so this is a beautiful piece on angel light lots of uh, interesting information beautiful artwork great for your book of shadows your altar on the wall or uh, any sort of sacred space or if you have a bunch of angel light and you'd like to place it in front of it that would be beautiful too uh, but these are seven dollars shipped so no worries the shipping is included um, and we have some other sigils this one being an abundance sigil if you were wanting to bring in any form of abundance um, and then there's a little dot at the top that tells you kind of which way the sigil is supposed to face so this is the top <laughs> um, and then this one, um, you guys may have seen this before, but I believe it's uh, Icelandic, yes. And it's kind of used as a compass. Um, so again, lots of wonderful information on this. I have a necklace with this symbol on it and I absolutely love it. Um, so I do love this piece of artwork, but like I said, I'm just trying to, trying to make some room. Okay. And then this other piece here is on the tree skeel, which I also use and love and it's three swirling patterns, um, all interconnected. And for me, it's just, just seeing the, the interconnection to all, like there's no random anything in this world, like everything's connected, every person that you meet, um, everything that goes wrong, everything that goes well, um, is all a part of this like grand symphony and the tree skill helps to remind me of that. So I love this piece of artwork. I love the information here. And uh, yeah, maybe it'll wind up in its, its new home. Okay, our last piece of artwork here um, is for finding the divine feminine within you. So it doesn't matter if you're a male, female, or whatnot. Um, everybody has mixtures of, uh, you know, certain energies. Um, some of them are more feminine type energies, masculine type energies, whatever it may be, uh, neutral type energies, they're all within us, um, regardless of our gender. So this is really good at helping to bring about more of that feminine energy or whatever it is that you're working on. So sigils are really good for placing your herbs on top of them, crystals on top of them, certain affirmations on top, um, spell bottles like I have over there, moon water like I have over there, placing it on top and infusing it um, with the energy of uh, the Divine Feminine. Silver Star Priestess, what up? Aveline Rising, hello, hello. Okay, so let's look back here. So I have a couple more decks. And I have the Mystical Dream Tarot. And this is $24 shipped. So shipping is, is included in that. And we have the wonderful guidebook. Like I said, I take really good care of my decks, you guys. Oops. Ooh, there was a little something there. Okay, um, let me pull out at least one side of these cards. I am doing well. I hope that you are doing well. So here's the backs. And here we go. So the premise here is that the creator um, saw these images in her dreams. Um, this is created on wood block. Um, that's why the, the art looks very interesting. Um, and then she was able to connect these images to um, tarot meanings. So um, just like, you know, the tarot has certain symbols and, um, you know, meanings and, and things like that, just like our dreams do. And our dreams are very kind of like loose and fluid and very symbolic and metaphoric. That's what she was going with these, you know, that just like the dreams, that's just kind of like the way the tarot works as well. So it doesn't look like a Rider Waite Smith. It really kind of looks like it's its own system. And I would say it kind of is like it's loosely, loosely, very loosely based on Rider Waite Smith, like you can see here. But there's all these other elements uh, that she's like reimagined through her dreams. So Star says, Ooh, these are cool. Claudia also thinks they're pretty cool. So yeah, it's just um, for me, it was harder to use these in a spread um, and I had to meditate like one card at a time. Um, amazing meditations, amazing revelations. 
So it's a fantastic deck. Um, I'm not saying that I dislike this deck in any way. I actually still really love it, but I have so many decks. I'm like, okay, girl, I gotta make room. <laughs> um, Edgar's like, you can feel the dreamlike state of it. Yeah, exactly. Like she was just like in a trance, like painting these and um, putting these on her wood block. So, or creating them out of wood block and then painting them, which is marvelous. So that's the mystical dream tarot. Um, the other tarot we have here is the Elemental Power tar Tarot, and this is for $20. Shipped, again, everything in wonderful condition. There's your guidebook. And here are the backs of the cards. A beautiful matte finish, those of you that like, like no gloss, this would be good for you. Okay, so this one also very like artsy. <laughs> so the premise here, like with this little crown, is to imagine that you are within the card. So you're not really gonna see any people in these cards because you're supposed to be the person that's within the card um, or the person that you're reading for. So like for the Empress, you don't see an Empress sitting here. That's because you're the Empress. You're the Empress upon this chair and you're supposed to meditate how does it feel to be sitting in this chair with these trees around here with the the moon up there and with this flower um and really try to embody what's going on in these cards to put yourself in the cards so at glance it kind of looks like it's just a pip deck but that's because you're supposed to be in the deck so if you're in here with the nine of of wands what are you going to do with all these wands what does it feel like for you and um i think that it's, it's really helpful when doing your readings to imagine that you're there. You're you're wearing this helmet. So, you know, what do you get from that? You're in this like vortex of water. What is it be what is it like to be the knight of, you know, cups? And the hanged man, you notice everything is upside down. Hold on. And that's because you're hanging upside down. <laughs> so what is it what is it like to see the world from that angle? So anyway, it's a beautiful artistic deck, you guys. I still really love it, but you know, I have so many decks. I gotta make room. Oh, I love that fool card. You know, imagine you with your little hedgehog friend here and you're just walking to the edge of this cliff. How does it feel? But you notice the clouds keep going as if they're steps all the way to the sun. So Silver Stars is very beautiful exactly gorgeous okay so again if you are interested that was for $20 shipped okay let's move this to the back here and I have some buffalo bone claws for $45 each so this is actual buffalo bone uh, but these were created by our um, um, local Native Americans off the Pima Maricopa uh, reservations I added the turquoise to it that's actual genuine turquoise um, so these are $45 shipped so it'd be really nice to um, we'll add a little like nylon cord for you but you can add your own you know neck chain if you want but I love these these are freaking awesome okay and over here Triple Moon Mysticism, hello! This one is antique. <laughs> this one is actually a Native American ceremonial rattle. Again, we have a lot of local tribes here. I myself am part Pima Indian uh, from my uh, dad's mother's side. Uh, so it is kind of cool to be able to see, you know, basically where my family comes from. <laughs> um, but this is ceremonial rattle. Um, I made some... Um, slight adjustments to it just because it is very old and I just needed you know to fix a few things but it has some leather wraps beading here and actual rabbit fur and then you can see this is made into a turtle Edgar says that is so adorable the turtle calls to me yeah baby turtle okay and then I have my incense burner here for $19 shipped it's been very used you guys but if you're just looking for an incense burner that you can toss around it has a little compartment here so you can put your your incense down in the bottom as like a little little saver um, you can do that and you can put your little cone incense in here 
So again, $19 shipped. And my final deck is just the cat people for $15 shipped if you guys are interested. Uh, the rattle, let me bring the little price tag for you. This was $45 shipped if you guys were interested. So again, just let me know which one is yours. I will set it aside for you. And um, don't forget to email Tara at kittensweightsandtarot.com and I will send you an invoice. Ah. Okay, so it looks like we have a flash sale, Caribbean blue calcite sphere for $60 shipped. Any of you guys wanting some Caribbean blue calcite? There's four. Oh, there's four. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, hold on. We have another one here. This is number two. Ooh, I have a Caribbean blue calcite sphere as well. So I love these. Uh, here is number three. And number four. So that was just brought over from James. You guys know him from Light of Riga. He has a little crystal shop. So this is his little flash sale. Uh, these are $60 shipped for Caribbean blue calcite if you guys are interested. Okay, so let me quickly get back to um, our tarot of the cat people. It's got everything in there. Beautiful backs. <laughs> Silver Star says, thank you, James. Well Love the artwork here. This is from 1981, my year that I was born. Woo woo! And the crater um, was briefly in San Diego, so definitely a good connection with me as well. And it's got kitties all over the freaking place. So again, this was $15 shipped. So the shipping is included in all of these prices. No need to calculate any extra shipping. Okay, let me ooh, zoom out here. Whoop. And we'll just uh, do a little, little overview again. Lots of antiques. Oops. Uh, my little... Uh, Paper. Oh, here it is. I was like, where's the little paper? Okay. So again, lots of beautiful art, Caribbean blue calcite, incense burner, ceremonial ra uh, rattle, antique ceremonial rattle, carved buffalo bone pendants with turquoise that has been added. Um, comes off the Maricopa Pima, Pima Indian reservations, as well as the ceremonial rattle. Freaking awesome mortar and pestle from the early 1900s. Those of you looking to mix up your powders and herbs. We have a book, The Alchemist, more decks, some beautiful charwhite bracelets, um, a wonderful antique um, candle holder, which is great for placing stones, herbs, and intentions around it. And it's adjustable, so it lifts the candle up as it burns. Um, we have our moon soon water and a spell bottle, our love spell bottle. We have our rutilated natural citrine crystal that I showed you guys earlier. And some of my witchy shoes and art. So there you go, you guys. Uh, let me grab the little do do do, and I'm I have edit all of this actually right in front of my altar. Um, if you guys want to see my altar, it's right here. <laughs> um, so I just took down everything um, from uh, Lanasa, which we just had, and that's all our stuff for desert cauldron that we're working on all my little projects and things that I want to make for the shop Edgar says what's the black and white deck next to the goddess tarot let me show you that is the 
Yggdrasil Norse divination cards for $26 shipped. And Jim, uh, Susie says, too bad I have massive dental work now, darn. Oh no! <laughs> well, sending you healing vibes then, lots of healing vibes, that everything goes smoothly um, and that you recover quickly. So uh, lots of, lots of uh, rainbow vibes sent your way. So uh, let's see, where's my little paper here? Okay, so again, um, because I think that they're gonna cut me off for the live because I don't think you can be live for very long on Instagram. Um, I'm gonna post this video to YouTube as well, um, but you can email me, Tara at and tarot.com. Let me know if you were interested in any of these things. I will send you a PayPal invoice, and once it's paid, I will mail it out ASAP, and you know that I like to throw in little extras, so. <laughs> So be on the lookout for all the extra goodies in your guys' boxes. So there we go. Thank you guys so much for hanging out in my little witchy closet. Um, if you are interested in a lot of the other witchy items that we have in Desert Cauldron, all of these are already listed in our shop. And we just listed my brand new spell candle uh, that I made. And oh, this guy. I'm having a hard time saying goodbye to him. But he is my gold sheen obsidian um, skull jaguar <laughs> and i love him so much but oh silver star says okay i'll rewatch the youtube want to see it all before i make a choice um appreciate oh thank you appreciate you as well so yeah lots of goodies here this all this stuff you guys you guys can find in our etsy shop our other stuff that i couldn't fit up here is like down here in their boxes um we have some wands that we still have to make uh but yeah this is this is our little um creating magic corner and I always keep it near my altar because you know I want that magic to be <laughs> transferred between the two uh Edgar's like you're selling the jag no I know I know dude I was just like oh because I originally bought it to sell it and I'm like kind of like well if nobody buys it well then I get to keep it right <laughs> so but yeah he's in there he's in the shop um sherry bug what's up so there you go um if you guys are size eight don't forget the witchy shoes um i hope you guys have a great rest of your evening i'm off to go eat some dinner don't forget that flash sale with the caribbean blue calcite here um it does go well with santa muerte actually yes um and don't forget the moon soon water because uh, a lot of the stuff like the candle holder the Moonsoon Water, uh, the Mortar and Pestle, the Buffalo Bone Pendants, and the uh, Antique Ceremonial Rattle from the Pima Maricopa Indian Reservations. Those are not in the Desert Cauldron shop yet. So you can get a deal here, and then if they don't sell here, then I will eventually put them into our shop. So, all right, let me flip this around. <laughs> So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Um, if it's late, late, then have a good night. <laughs> if it's dinner time, have a great dinner. Um, and if it's morning or afternoon time, then I hope you guys just have a re great rest of your day. Have a good day tomorrow. Um, bless you. <laughs> have a good rest of your week. Have a great weekend. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, hanging out, checking out my witchy closet. Uh, but yeah, if you are interested in any of those things, just let me know, email me, I'll get you that invoice and I will make sure that I put some little extra witchy goodies in your box. <laughs> Um, all right, guys. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out. <laughs>